from the Baltimore area, the FCS program out of the Colonial Athletic went five and six a year ago. And we're underway. Line drive kick. This will be the explosive return man, Greg Dortch, out past the 20. Dorch takes it to the 26, and that's where Wake Forest will start. Early mistakes, and you could see his comfort level grow throughout the course of the day. Quick slant right on the button to Dorch, and he was a tackle away from taking that to the house, up to the 49-yard line, a pickup of 23. Two guys are going to meet each other several times this afternoon. Third down for Wake Forest. Hartman will throw a strike. It's complete. Along the near side, Dorch with his second catch. And the Deacons keep the drive alive. Page Surratt to the top of the screen. Colburn is the running back. Towson brings a delayed blitz. Hartman scrambling, floats toward the back of the end zone. Bachman with a one-handed grab. Did he drag a foot? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Wake Forest. New tandem of Bachman and Dorch. Plenty of time, gets outside the pocket, and then the soft touch to the outside. Does he get the foot in? I think he does. And then he catches the ball and then gives you the signal for the touchdown. Watch this. Concentration, hand, control, maybe. Looks like it. So let's see how the Tigers will respond. This will be Simpson from the goal line. Nice cutback move. And the electrifying return man takes it out past the 30. Up to the 32-yard line, Shane Simpson. Good starting position for Towson. This summer to Towson. He's going to throw for the first time. Has a nice pocket, and he throws a bullet. Let his receiver perfectly. That's Leatherberry with the catch. The Towson run game. Towson's got to find a way to establish something. Second and 10, a nice little hole opens up over the left side, and then yards after contact for Simpson. Kemp able to drive him down, but not before an 11-yard run. Catch, we've seen him return. Doesn't mind going in between the tackles. What a real clean handoff as they tried to stretch it to the right side. And also the kid from right down the street, Parkland High School, Kobe Young, number 19. Part of the depth of that running back for Towson. Flacco on an out pattern has his man. That's Gallahan with the catch and another first down for the Tigers. First third down of the drive for Tom Flacco. Third down and five. Play fake. Flacco with time will take a shot toward the end zone. Gallahan makes the catch for the touchdown. And a counter punch from the Colonial with Towson. Gallahan's grab in the back of the end zone. Good protection. Opens up the middle. You can see the foot watch. Does he get control of the ball with one foot down? See, there he does. And you see the right foot just touched on the line. On the end line. Here again. It has to be control on that first foot because that second yeah. leg that comes down is out. That's some experience at Rutgers in his one year, so he jumped right in. Drive number two for Wake Forest. And this will be Dortch from his own end zone. Any type of space, you got to hold your breath on Greg Dortch. Look at the moves all the way out near the 40-yard line. Important for Wake Forest, and we saw it on their first drive. They've got to continue it, getting a good tempo. No pressure all the time in the world for Hartman, and it's going to be a long day for the Tigers' secondary. Here comes a flag as well. Dorch the catch, and then he took a late shot by Finner, and this will tack on 15 more. Take a look here. Stands tall in the pocket. There's a hit after the play, a deep post, and then that's, that's not. He's going out of bounds. One thing that Towson wanted to do was stack the box. Taking a guy out of the box gives him room to throw or pass. Fade pattern looking for Dorch, and he makes a one-handed grab. Touchdown! Oh, are these receivers putting on a show? Play fake holds the backer. They come at him. You've got man coverage. Not a lot Finner could do. He was beaten from the moment, but a great route. Watch this. Plenty of space to the field side of the ball field. Missed the last five or six ball games. His talent, and this is what I'm talking about, about the depth of Wake Forest. 
They've got guys in there that can make plays in the open field that years ago they didn't have. Just see if Wake Forest rushes four, puts a little blitz on, they're going to rush four and drop. They run a stunt with their front four. Flacco dodges Rodney, back foot throw. Oh my, what a toss. Gallahan right at the sticks, makes the grab. And Flacco's able to get away, steps away in the pocket, but then has the poise, steps, throws into the play, and an excellent job. Both these teams perfect on third down today, and that stat remains. Up the middle goes Kobe Young onto the wake side. Taylor the stop, not before Young picks up five. Another third down for the Tigers. As Wake bring pressure? They move the pocket for Flacco, runs into his own blocker, still being pursued, hit as he throws, and it's incomplete. Kate Carney in there for the short yardage situation, play fake to him, and the pass is batted away, and let's see if that was picked off. I think it was. Towson able to dig it off the turf with Reeves off the deflection. They were looking for Surratt, his first target, and a heads-up play by the sophomore safety, Montrell Reeves. Wade sniffed that one out. He'd run a few of those his previous three years at receiver. That RPO by Flacco, he's going to run. And tough nose quarterback play by Tom Flacco. Towson stacks three receivers at the bottom. Tigers three for four on third downs. Here comes a blitz up the middle. Flacco dancing around to the end zone. Touchdown! Tom Flacco does it again. All right, count the number of chances. There's one. Flacco, head up, gets away. There's two. A third hit under control. Lops the pass there in the end zone. No pressure whatsoever. You need a touchdown? I got one. Four receptions a moment ago. Four for 62 yards and looking for more. Hartman to go back to work, and he is going to take a shot. Penalty flag flies as he was looking for Bachman. He got all tangled up. This will be... Interference, not afraid to get inside and make a play. The sophomore from the local kid also wanting to play well from high point. Quick screen, the Dorch zigzagging his way, tight roping the near side, following the blocks. Goes about 6'3", six, 6'4", six, versus the 5'10", cornerback. Second down and short, real slow developing play as Carney waited for any type of crevice to open up on what should be the final play of a wild opening 15 minute accurate. And playing with a lot of poise. And as you mentioned, that big hole for Carney met by the second wave of resistance. And then he just moves the pile ahead. And that's what Kay Carney does. And, and so this is what I was expecting. Sometimes you get in a run out, out of your quarterback, Hartman. You now they're just going to pound it in between the tackles. Hartman on a nice read will hop skip his way to six. Touchdown. Sam Hartman. RPO, inside read there, you take the, the, the dive back, you'll pull it out, you pull it out, everybody converges inside, great job of the offensive. Certainly looks like a number 10 from the past couple of years and the numbers that John Wolford put up. Now taking a shot deep, looking for Allen Bassey with the coverage, and he makes the over-the-shoulder pick. A saying Bassey with the interception, and we're squared away, a turnover apiece. 16 pass breakups. Comes up with his first pick of the season. RPO and a big hole over the left side for Hartman. Chased down, good open field tackle by Keon Pay. Empty set, four receivers set. Got over him. the middle, wide open, and a diving catch is made. Out of the backfield, it's Colburn who makes the juggling grab. This gets right over to the second level. And this makes it so easy even on third down. Run or pass? And it will be the run for Colburn, the team's leading rusher the past couple of years. Picked and danced his way up for a few yards and then decided to explode on the hole. They've been golden on third downs today, not this time. That one sailed on Hartman. Nick Skiba with the big shoes to fill, replacing Mike Weaver. And he's second at Wake Forest with 327 career points. Pretty good. Jimbo was fired up all week, too. <laughs> yes, he has been. Big drive and a good start as they hit Gallahan, who has been Flacco's favorite target in this first half. Everybody home and keep an eye, a, a spy on the Flacco. There's the pressure. Pressure comes yeah. and down goes Flacco for the first time. 
Good job, Wake Forest, disguising the pressure and then coming from the outside. The game against Tulane, but we can anticipate using him on some more of the blitz packages moving forward. Dorch will give it a shot. Somebody lost the lid. Penalty flag flies. Dorch to midfield. Dorch down the sideline, but there are three penalty flags back around midfield. Dorch takes it to the house, but let's wait and see what the penalties are all about. All right. I'm going to watch Dorch. You tell me who's getting loose to have it. You know, you got to put your helmet on. Block there, and then watch this. He gets a great block right at the bottom of the screen there, and then he's tight rope the sideline. Good job blocking by the return team. Greg Dorch, 70 yards to the house, and away we go. It's easier to run your offense if you're able to have success on first down. Was that Greg Dorch or Tom Flacco with that spin around? Beautiful looking <laughs> yeah, really. Move experience with other schools now you see it paying dividends for this Towson team pressure comes and Williams gets some this time no spinning away from Jack has Williams Williams too quick for the tackle he gets inside makes the tackle two versatile players at the rover position when you look at Williams and Kemp throw high going up after it and making the catch for a first down, at least close to a first down it is a first down for the Tigers in zone coverage caught them in between your backs he just sat down and knew exactly what he had to have for the first down. Taylor comes on a blitz. Rocco hangs tough and throws a strike. Flacco Ooh. with a strike to the 35 and a first down. Some great offensive linemen that can protect as well as do a good job in blocking schemes. Pressure comes and Towson is moving the wrong way. And in there as well. This is a good be a sack, but it's great coverage by the defensive backs and long screen. Passing situation. Third down, draw all the way. Flacco with a lot of work to do, still on his feet. Williams drags him down at the 31-yard line as they try to get into field goal range. Dicker and Aiden O'Neill, but they know they need six, not three to keep up. Flacco in trouble, still on his feet, and Rodney able to get to him as Flacco shovels a pass forward. Pick up was the interception on the deflected ball intended for Surratt. RPO, he'll fire. Bachman makes the catch. Dives ahead to the 45, a pick up a 14. His fault. Now you pick your poison when you yeah. play defense against Wake. That time, no hole opening up for Cade Carney carrying that football with both arms. Nice stop there by Towson. Man coverage on the outside, and the pass was batted down. Somebody got a paw on that football. You know a thing or two about getting after the quarterback. Punting from the end zone is Toomey. Line drive, returnable kick. Dorch surveys at the 40. Up past midfield. Dorch to the 35. Beats the punter. Cuts at the 20. Dorch looking for number two. The magician has done it again. Touchdown, Wake. be a blur deep punt steady 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 and no one one person maybe lays a hand on Dorch that's just speed athleticism and some God-given try to remain who you are yeah, you're not going to get all this back in on one possession wide receiver screen Allen slips free from one now lost He's the down. football they're going to say he was down Keep an eye on the clock out of the corner of your eye. Inside 90 seconds to go. The Tigers with all three timeouts. Pressure up the middle. Flacco throws timing pattern. What a throw. That's not easy, Stan. Leatherberry holds it in. Familiar sight in the second quarter, throwing with a Deacon defender in his face. Gets outside, stays low in between the defender. It's first half, throwing the football. Here comes Taylor again. They pick it up. And making the catch is Allen, and he gets out of bounds. First down reception to Jabari Allen. It's a gain of 17 and a first down. Richardson, he's covered. There's the pump, and then you come back inside, and Allen's there. You know, 28 and, and almost 200 yards and two touchdowns. That's not a bad day's work. Flacco flings it over the middle, and it's caught. That's Rakowski, both left and right. 
Wake Forest rushes only four. They drop seven into coverage. Leatherberry with a step and a beautiful throw and strike. Touchdown, Towson. That, my friends, was a very impressive drive. Keep your eye. Watch at the top. You see the deep coverage? Leatherberry goes to the outside. They bring another receiver underneath. Make the plays. Red and Glenn are the two safeties. Look like he wanted to bootleg left. Nothing there, so he'll take it straight up the center. Tom Flacco, without hesitation, dives forward for nine and a first down. He's found his rhythm on this critical drive in the third quarter. Seven of eight, throwing the football under pressure here. Gets out of the pocket, lost the helmet, but it's going to be a dead play right there once that helmet popped off. Dows of some pressure. And try to get him down, and he can't. Head comes off. Sophomore out of Pennsylvania. He is deadly with his feet, and that's where they're going to use him. Stover across midfield, up ahead to the 46-yard line. Setting up a manageable third down, and here comes Flacco right back onto the field. So a lot of things at, at Towson's disposal right now on third down. Backpedaling. Drag pattern. Allen makes the catch. Bassey tackles him immediately, and this will all be depending on the spot. Fourth and less than a yard. Simpson is the running back, and he will get the call. Runs into a pile, and he, he did not it. get there. Don't think he got it. Let's see if this is going to change the momentum now. Play fake. Hartman wanted to go deep can run if he wants to. He wants to throw, going up high, and making the catch is Alex Bachman. May have had control of him and tossed him out of bounds, but you still got to down. Let's take a look. There's the roll. No pressure. No pressure, just as I got it. Ooh, I think that's a catch. How about the improvement from Alex Bachman? Last year, 21 receptions. Three touchdowns all year. He already has three through the first. He was busy because of injuries. Cade Carney was nursing some rib and knee issues. Arkeem Bird was out. And it was Colburn who stepped up in a big way. Leaving. Tackles and then with the short passing game, two running backs, maybe a third is going to be all you see. You've got a quarterback that also poses a threat as a runner. Hartman fumbled the last time Wake Forest was in this neck of the woods. Remember, they can still pick up a first down. Hartman to throw. Nothing right. Nothing left. Avoids the defender. Flush. Throws toward the pylon. Incomplete. For, for Towson, bending but not breaking if they hold him to a field goal. Nick Skiba from 28 yards out, and he is a perfect two for two today. Towson, Boston College, Notre Dame, Rice, and Clemson all coming to Winston-Salem. Greenwood makes his second catch of the day. It's a first down, a gain of 14 yards up to the 36. Staff and the East Carolina staff got to give them a lot of credit for getting their teams together and, and nice ball game. Big kick out block delivered, and it's the biggest play on the ground for Wake Forest up to the 34-yard line before Wallace is able to bring down Carney. Runner between the tackles with speed to be able to pop outside. Patience there. Watch that. Exact same play, same result, and then some. A touchdown saving tackle is made. Watch this. A little slow down, a little hesitation. Read your block. There's a hole. Nice little kick out block to there. And then all of a sudden, it's just heading for the end zone. Uh, he did during the fall camp and having guys play at the center position, the guard, the yeah, tackle. They exactly. can just go in and fill the pieces. Well, here we go. 65 minutes later, fourth down, less than a yard for the Demon Deacons. And they'll go under center. First time all afternoon. They'll hop on the back of center Ryan Anderson. We welcome you back to BB&T Field, the start of the fourth quarter. Wake Forest sniffing at that red zone, and it's been a steady dose of Cade Carney. Remember, earlier on in this game, Matt Colburn left with what appeared to be a lower leg injury, and it's been Carney ever since. An hour or so is that now the offensive lineman had a chance to relax, get fresh, and they can just bull their way through for the touchdown. And that's the case right there. Carney over the right side. That up tempo style, even on the ground game, they don't give the defense a chance to get a breather or get set. The ante. We talked about the experience of this offensive line. Just find a hole, move your man just a little bit, 
to Oceanside Collegiate. Followed his coach over there so he could play football his senior year. On the kick return. Out past the 30 up to the 33 yard line goes Shane Simpson. Just weren't a lot of reps to be found sitting behind Williams and Grant Doss in the past couple of years. Flacco has time, put some extra air behind it, a little bit too much incomplete. Wake's been really good on third downs today. Third and a short yard, third straight carry for Beal Smith, and he bounces to the outside. Rockets ignited, one man to beat. 25-20, finally caught at the 16. Take a look at this, good block there, trap inside. Won't go down on the first contact and it's headed for the heels. Third down, a long yard. He will get the call this time. He is blown up at the line of scrimmage. 27 yard attempt for Nick Skiba, who's perfect today. Kick on the way, and he is three for three as Wake tacks on three more. Time for Flacco, and he will throw, and he has found a reliable target today. Ryan Rakowski against Tulane. It's been night and day over the last couple of years in that particular area. Yeah, that 122, they had 21 touchdowns from the line of scrimmage. So there's your explosion. Settling underneath. This is a dump off to Shane Simpson. Thursday's two. Quarterback sneak. They spread it out wide. They go right up the middle with Flacco. Let's go back to Towson a little bit here, Stan, and you brought up a good point. This next pass will be his 51st of the afternoon, matching the Wake Forest point production today. Flacco steps up, avoids the rush, nearly intercepted again. Up to the 20-yard line, fourth and nine. Here comes the pressure off the edge, and they're going to get to Flacco. Back at the 39-yard line. A lab bacteria to swell up in his shoulder. About a baseball-sized lump was removed. He came back, played the opener, threw an 80-yard touchdown on his very first play from the line of scrimmage. So that tells you a little bit about what kind of guy this, you know, this young man is. And, and it, one more bit. If you remember, I, I, I want to say you and I did a game. Now, after a 60-plus minute lightning delay earlier, as Delaney gets the call, falls ahead inside the 30. 82 today for the Demon Deacons. Towson puts up 410 of total yardage as the two coaches come together and they get ready to separate and head their respective ways. And Stan, your closing thoughts on Wake and BC Thursday night.